So check this out. I saw Polaris, was it last year? Like 2013? Last year, they, actually 2012 was the first year. That's when, okay, yeah. I was like, it's been a while and you had this custom solution. It's like an integrated battery and you've got a really sensitive, sort of like a torque sensing drive. So basically what we have, our chain tensioner is also our cadence system. It's also our shift indicating system. Wow. So shift speed technology is every time you shift a gear, it changes how fast the actual motor goes. Okay. Something. This part right here is your, your derailleur cable. It runs through our shift system, yeah. which actually runs a slide bar inside, right? Yeah. This system has also got our chain tensioner wheel. The chain tensioner wheel is also our cadence system. Okay. And then that somehow communicates with the motor to tell it how so much motor? Now that actually comes up here and knows what gear you're in. Okay. Right? That tells you how fast the motor should be operating during each shift. Oh. So it kind of has an acceleration. Every time you hit the button to go from maybe five, six, seven, eight, you feel a surge in speed. Okay. But if you go the opposite direction, let's say you're in eighth gear, you're coming into a corner, you dump the gears, it's going to regen you oh. back a little bit. Does this have point. regenerative, like, yes, it does. Braking too? Does it sense when you're. Regenerative braking, it actually senses if that. it has a basically accelerometer yeah. that knows if you're going uphills, downhills, depending on the mode you put it in. Sounds super smart. Yes. Very smart. I can't wait to try this. And this one's a fat, fat bike, right? This is a fat e bike here. This is a <laughs> high torque. Nice. Um, 750 watt motor. Oh my gosh, right at the top of the limits here in the US. Yes. Pretty impressive. And this must be a direct drive, uh, direct drive gearless, gearless motor because it's doing regen. So we actually manufacture our own motor systems. We built our own cadence systems, our battery packs, and our displays, our wire harnesses. We are we basically are a full vertical manufacturer with our own assembly for it. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you took, it, it seems like maybe that, that year 2014, it was like working on this and you've refined it a little bit, kept some yeah. of the same styling elements and... We basically took everything we had and went to a lot of the same things that Polaris corporate requires. Right, right. And said, we're gonna build a robust bike, we're gonna build a bulletproof bike. We tested these things. Yeah. And actually most of the delay was built on testing procedures. Testing. You know, we wanted to make sure that I could sit there and get done, wash this bike off, ride it in the rain, uh, go in the desert. I've got waterproof connectors on every single thing. Oh, wow. Our, we actually have marine grade wire harness, one piece wire harness built into this system. And yeah, I don't see like all the controller and stuff must be it's in this built in. sound tube. It's shared between the battery uh -huh. and the motor. Okay. So. Very interesting. And one of the neat things about a bigger company like Polaris that has experience with snowmobiles and all kinds of stuff like that is hopefully like warranty and support. And you mentioned quality, taking time to build this right and test it. I actually live at the factory most of the time. Really? Okay. And I sit there on the work <laughs> so line sad. as, much as, as <laughs> much as I possibly can off of almost every container. Okay. So, so you're there. So we take that serious. It's, it's our factory. And you know, even though we're high, it's an Asian company, a Chinese factory, mm -hmm. we, all, we take that serious. We have to meet our protocols yeah. that we actually have set. The test procedures we did basically destroyed these systems. Wow. Every single time. Every time it'd break it, we'd fix that break. Sure. And then we just kept on going. We did about five months of testing every, just breaking it every single day. Well, and talking about fixing, so, you know, you're a consumer, you buy one of these, I'm assuming at a Polaris dealer. Polaris dealer. Are you also doing a, independent bicycle shops? There will stuff? be available to independent bicycle stores. There will also be limited edition lines that will be available online. Oh, okay. oh the that's customer, the colorful one, right? Yeah. That one there, people will be able to purchase online and we will ship it to their local Polaris dealer. Oh, to get good. Assembled. Yeah, that's so right. So this way they could actually have that limited edition bike and get it shipped, put the order in and hold it. Okay. So, But so they get it from wherever, maybe have it shipped locally if it's custom, but then if something breaks or whatever, how, we how do you... A, we have a self-diagnostic system. It's oh. 17 different fault codes. The wire harness is a one-piece wire harness. Yeah. I could actually have this whole wire harness, put it back in less than 30 minutes. Wow. So So your Polaris dealer can hopefully help diagnose exactly. and then prepare Every it for you. Every single part on this bike is a quick connect, disconnect. Right. And it's you can have it off and put the new piece on. If it says it's bad, a bad plug, it'll tell me if I give a certain F code reading. Yeah. If my derailleur's off adjustment. Oh, wow. That's so. fancy. So how much how much are these? Like, can you give me a range? So point the starting items? price starts at twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Okay. The diesel, the high end edition bike, 
that we're looking at $39.99 but we also have a fat tire bike with suspension and full spank component group oh my gosh so that will be in on the end so when are these hitting the stores when when are they available uh they're actually being shipped to stores now oh my gosh well thank you so much carrie i appreciate yeah. it <laughs> we'll we'll get out on these later and do some tests oh yeah